To what extent does your school respect people's Second Amendment rights? Excuse me. ShireSociety.com Are you with the school district, ma'am? Yes. Got a question for you. What position, if I might ask? I'm the principal of the upper elementary school. Oh, thanks. Question, uh, what, what, uh, to what extent does your school respect people's Second Amendment rights? Excuse me. Now, you're funded by taxpayers. You get tens of thousands of dollars a year. Shouldn't you uh, owe them a question, right. answer? You can talk while you're walking. One empire, under fraud, completely visible, with spying and lying to all. I also wanted to point out, if you look uh, over here, the, the uh, one thing I will say in defense of this school is that they, they do provide a really nice parking spaces for visitors. Not a ton of them, uh, but this is like the visitors get to go right up front. And I would have expected, uh, you know, that visitors might not get such good treatment, but uh, they do. And that's great. We could go on and look at problems that Smart Balance made available to us. Uh, detailed directions to access these Smarter Balanced web links um, in order to become familiar with the link. What was amazing was that our students' desktop was different no matter what student you sat, they sat next to. And the students were observing that. So if they looked at their desktop, what problem they were working on was not the same. It was next door to them and solving the problems that were given to them. I'd like to tell our questions and our feedback was given to the Smarter Balance Consortium and so... To avoid being filmed on the Ridley Report, you must avoid being interesting. Like that guy. He doesn't look interesting. Then how are we going to make this happen? How are we going to roll it out? Uh, how is it going to work in our high school environments? So these were some pretty rosy reports that you guys were saying about how the testing has been working out. Uh, but uh, what happened? I understand there was one student that didn't take the test. Why was that? Uh, not familiar with that. You know what that happened? Okay. How much I enjoy everybody all the I think that it was. What was this about students wearing headphones and having questions read to them as opposed to reading them? Was that a visually impaired thing or is it just for special education students or are your average students having to have things read to them out loud? Are your average students having problems reading or? So these were some pretty rosy reports that you guys were speaking to the board about how the testing went. But what would have happened to me if I, as an independent reporter, had tried to document how the testing went? Would I have even been allowed in? I, I don't know. They I don't you know. In, didn't they? I don't know. In, into the building? Oh, into the building. During oh. school hours? In the past, no. Um, but I, don't, I can't speak for now. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you speak to administration. Right. I don't, I don't know. Would you be allowed? It sounds like some people are encouraging you to, to raise any concerns that you have, uh, but uh, what would happen if you raised a concern? Or is there any pressure not to raise concerns? Or? No, no, absolutely not. They no. just want to know how it went. That's okay. And, yeah. uh, why should taxpayers be forced to fund uh, this kind of testing? That's part of education. Right. It's, um, a, it's part of their learning. Right, and they, they funded all other standardized testing before, and so if, if you had no problem with that, I don't see why this is much different. It's a federal program, right? Or federally related? I thought Smarter Balance is a state initiative. It's state initiative. 
I okay, it's just New Hampshire based. Uh, so. Well, the, other states other do state, it. Other states are doing it too. But it's not a federal mandate, right? Right. as far as I'm aware. Is it part of Common Core? No. No, I don't okay. think so. Okay. But many of the questions are very similar to this, how we're changing yeah. curriculum now for it. So. Right. Are you principals or? No, no. I'm math, nope. math teacher, so. And I'm okay. a math coordinator. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not getting much transparency or answers from everybody else today, so I appreciate you two for standing oh, no. out from the that's, crowd. That's no fine. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.